Welcome back. We are continuing to focus on education on this Monday right here on Mountain Connections. What can you do to lower college costs? Well, I recently had a great discussion with an expert all about how to save money, what to do as you, as your family members head off to school. So let's take a look at this right now. With some tips and tricks to help parents and students prepare for these costs and find ways to save is money expert and veteran financial network anchor Nicole Lappet. Nicole, thanks for being here. Christine, thanks so much for having me. All right, let's help parents and students who are attending college right now. What are some of the biggest expenses to be aware of and what are some ways to cut costs? The biz biggest expenses can be supplies and textbooks. So on the supplies front, I would try to wait if you can. We have pens and paper oftentimes already, so the more into the back to school season you can wait, the better the prices are gonna be. And also make sure to save those receipts. A lot of retailers will offer cash back, but only if you hold on to the receipts. And on the textbook front, take advantage of modern technology for your course materials. Companies like Pearson are disrupting the textbook world once and for all and offering lower prices to students. And this is more of a, Netflix or Spotify experience than an ebook app. And back when I was in school, a textbook could cost like 200 bucks. So this is $14.99 for more than 1,600 titles, which is a potential savings of hundreds of dollars a semester. Oh, that's a huge saving. And with so many expenses to keep track of, how can parents balance their own financial planning with their college bound students? I think it's so important for parents to remember to put their oxygen mask on first before helping others, especially their kids. And I know that feels harsh, like a harsh pill to swallow, and you're doing it from the right place in your heart. But it is more helpful to your kids if you have your own retirement covered and you don't show up to sleep on their couch when you're old and you have no money. There is no scholarship, there is no financial aid for retirement. And remember, we don't learn about financial literacy in school. I wish we did. So your kids are looking to you to set that financial example and remember they're watching. What are some things parents can encourage their students to do when they are on their own to stay on top of their finances? I would encourage students to use your student ID. Take advantage of that discount. It's only as valuable as the times you use it. Even Apple, which rarely discounts anything, is offering educational discounts this back to school season. And take advantage of cash apps. You know, I like to get things on sale, but if you're gonna pay full price, you might as well get some financial love on the flip side. With apps like Rakuten, there's Fetch Rewards, Ibotta, uh, Checkout 51 for example. One thing that may be hard for parents to relate to is e-text apps. I always like to make notes or highlight in the book. So do you really get the same experience as a print textbook? There are a variety of e-text options. So yeah, you have a simple PDF that you can open up, but you also have an immersive app experience like Pearson Plus that actually does let you highlight within the e-text like you would have back in the day or put the sticky note or take some of the sections and turn it into flashcards. I wish I had that when I was a student or even listening to your textbooks at one and a half times the speed like you would with some podcasts or even double the speed, which not only will save you time, but save you money. And I think that time is your most valuable asset. You can't get more of that. For those who don't have children in college just yet, what advice do you have for parents to save for that big bill that's coming? It is a big bill, and the earlier you save, the better. 529 plans, of course, are focused on college, so a lot of folks know about that. But if you qualify for a Roth IRA, I would take advantage of those savings vehicles that are tax advantaged as well, because you can pull money out penalty-free for educational expenses and make sure to comb through grants and scholarships. And be really specific when you're doing that. If you're the first person to go to college in your family, there's a scholarship for that. If you have a military affiliation in your family, there's a scholarship for that. If you're super into forestry, there's a scholarship for that and just about everything else. So the more specific you can be, the less competition there will be for that money. And where can we find more information? You can find more information on the Pearson Plus app that I mentioned at pearson.com. You can also use my code Nicole10 at checkout for 10% off. 
Oh, perfect. That's a huge savings. Well, thank you so much, Nicole Lappin, for this important information to help families with college costs. Really appreciate your time with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you.